Hey guys, Steve Welch here with your fact of the day. Today's fact of the day has to deal with the moon coming to you outside here. So um, from uh, WMC in Memphis, I uh, wanted to uh, talk to you about this. So uh, ever since its formation around 4.5 billion years ago, uh, the Earth's rotation has been gradually slowing. So uh, that's something that continues even now. So, um, but why is it slowing down? Well, mainly because of the moon and the gravitational pull of the moon so it's actually pulling on us right so uh, for billions of years the moon's been ever so gently tugging at the earth and slowing down its rotation so the moon's gravity is the reason that the uh, the neo prosthetic you know see that word letter um days were shorter than ours today it's also why millions of years from now um the days will be longer still so um so the mechanism boils down to an exchange of energy between the earth and the moon so the moon's gravitational pull creates a slight bump in the solid surface of the earth near to but not exactly underneath where the moon is uh, the disparity between the bump's position and the moon's pull creates a torque on both the earth and the moon with the end result is the earth slowing down gradually so the rotational energy is transferred to the moon, which is then moving away from the earth ever so slowly at a rate of about an inch and a half every year. So um, we're slowing down and the moon is moving further away. Like I said, an inch and a half a year when it's thousands of miles away, hundreds of thousands of miles away, an inch and a half is, you know, just not, not too much, but every year it's moving away about an inch and a half. How they know I don't, I don't know. Somebody knows, right? So, um, so it's a process that's been going on ever since the moon began to circle the earth. Some studies have attempted to look back even further in time. And one group of researchers estimates that 1.4 billion years ago, so at 1.4 billion years ago, that uh, the a day on earth was just 18.7 hours long so uh, a lot of us say that you know can't get enough done in 24 hours well make it 18.7 <laughs> you know but or wait a few million years and it'll be you know, probably 26 or 27 or 28 year, or, or, uh, hours long of course so um, at that time the moon was likely some 27,000 miles closer to earth than it is now um while the Earth's slowdown isn't noticeable on a human time scale, it's enough to create uh, significant changes over thousands and thousands of years, of course. Um, so one of those changes, uh, new research suggests, is perhaps the most significant of all, at least to us. Uh, lengthening the days have now been linked to oxygenation of the Earth's atmosphere. So uh, roughly 2.4 billion years ago, there was something known as the Great Oxidation Event when... Um, blue-green algae, and I'm not going to try to say the name, but blue-green algae emerged in such great quantities uh, that the Earth's atmosphere experienced a sharp, significant rise in oxygen because the Earth's days grew longer. Uh, without this oxidation, scientists think think that life as we know it could not have emerged um, so although the bacteria the blue green algae um, may cop a bit of a side eye today the fact is we probably wouldn't be here without them um, these results were incorporated into the global models of oxygen levels and the team found that lengthening days were linked to an increase in earth's oxygen not just the great oxidation event but another second uh atmospheres as atmospheric oxygenation called the neoproterozonic i'm going to Put the words down there for you guys um, but the oxygenation event around 550 to 800 million years ago both these oxidation events brought the at atmospheric oxygen up to the present day level of about 21 percent so um, that's something that most people don't realize either is that the the people say hey we breathe oxygen we do but it's only about 21 percent of the atmosphere it's you know actually most of the atmosphere i believe is nitrogen so um, it's actually not mostly oxygen it's mostly nitrogen yes 
yes, we do need oxygen to live. Hey, the train's back. Um, but we do need oxygen to live. But uh, definitely a, uh, a good thing to know that only 21% of the Earth's atmosphere is oxygen. Um, research say the Earth's atmosphere will maintain high levels of oxygen as the moon continues to move further away, causing the slowing of Earth's rotation, resulting in, of course, more oxygen over time. So the moon is slowing us down. That train's going over there. Um, moon is slowing us down and the, uh, uh, it's moving a little bit further away from us and uh, it's helping to create more oxygen in the air. All your fact of the day and uh, definitely a cameo from the train that is not too far from here. But Steve Welch with your fact of the day, uh, making you just a little bit smarter than you were yesterday. Uh, we'll see you next time.